I just want to talk a little bit about the so-called technology. Well, I guess it is technology, but it does, it's not something I care that much for. You know, they start off with the, the phones, the cell phones. They're really not a phone. It's a, they say it's a computer with a phone app, and that's about the truth. Uh, if you had a regular phone, just a phone, that's why I've got a little track phone. Well, it's not a track phone, one of these little things. I get calls, I make calls, and that's all I need. I don't, I've got a computer here at the house, so I'm going to look something up. I don't have to carry what computer with me. But anyway, they've gotten completely out of hand. You see people um, driving, and I don't mind so much driving and talking on the phone. I, I might be okay. But texting, when they're looking down, you know, they're not looking at the road. Now, to my opinion, that ought to be just as the same offense as drinking and driving, because you're not paying attention where you're going. I wonder how many accidents, fatal accidents in particular, have been caused by cell phones. Because people get all so engrossed in their little conversation, they have no attention, no, no, know where the car's going. Well, anyway, that's just one thing. And then another thing, in schools, why would kids need a phone in school? You're supposed to be studying. You don't need one. The, the, the office has a phone if you need to call your parents for some emergency, which chances are you won't, and the parents need to call you, they can call the office, and they'll, they'll have it. No sense in kids sitting there texting and sexting his buddies or her buddies, whichever, all through class and not paying attention. Of course, in one respect, school ain't much anymore anyway because they, they're all geared to sports and how many kids are going to go on to be a, a high-paid sports player anyway. They take out the home economics for the girls, the shop for the boys. I don't even know if they have driver's education anymore. It's just more like, and then, 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 then the kids rule the classroom, you know, they go, Man, I tell you, when I was in there, you did not. You got in trouble, you got punished for it. They had a board they paddled your butt with if you if you done something wrong. Now you can't do the poor little darlings, you know, all that bullshit. Anyway, another thing on this technology deal. Every place you go, they want you to do the work for them. Take Walmart, Lowe's, Dollar General. They got those little self-checkout things. Now, some people like it. They say it's faster. I don't like it. If they give me 10% for doing that, I would. I don't work for them. Next thing you know, they're going to want you to drive their damn delivery trucks for them. Why can't they have clerks? Now, down here at our local Walmart, they did put a bunch more of the clerks in, which I, that's good. And even with that, they're still lined up going to the clerk, not the robots, I call them up there in the back. And the thing, too, is that uh, you don't get to talk to a regular person. If you make mistakes, and they're liable to come after you for shoplifting or something. My personal opinion is I hope they lose money on them self check out things, but I would, I'd be glad they did. Why can't we get back to, well the other day we went to a restaurant, yesterday we went to a restaurant, and there's that gizmo on the table, you're supposed to pay right there on that thing. I don't know how I do that. I'm not, I'm not all that technical smart. I don't know all that crap. And then you get these, you know, this sounds like a gripe and it really is, because some of this stuff has got too far advanced for the time, they're too more advanced for anything, really. But you know, all these little, half the time you try to stick your card thing in the reader, it, it declined. There's not, it couldn't read it, couldn't read it, whatever it says. Then you got to pump a fart around there for 15 minutes, getting the clerk to come over and figure it out for you, and blah, 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 blah. So, I don't know what it is. There's something, there's a glitch someplace. Yeah, I know, it sounds like I'm grouchy, and I am this morning. I just got to think about all that high tech crap and, uh, I know a lot of people like it, a lot of people are going to disagree. They're going to say, boy, that's just the greatest thing. I'd love that. i got my little computer right here. I can do what I want. Well, that's okay if you like it, but I don't. And so you shouldn't make everybody use their, your technology or technical stuff, whatever it is. Uh, but anyway, nonetheless, uh, another thing, too, on the phones. If I understand it correctly, after the 1st of January here in Missouri, if a cop sees you on your phone, you're, you're going to take it. I don't maybe agree with the phone part, but the texting, yes. They should pull their license. They're going to do that. If they want to sit home and text, go ahead. Don't drive. Okay. I know people are going to be kind of not going to really like this. Some of them are not. Some are going to say you do like it, blah, blah, blah. Anyway. Yeah, I'm an old geezer. The older I get, the grouchier I get because I can see all this stuff going. And this AI, artificial intelligence. Well, we need more natural intelligence. You go on the computer, you try to write something, it tries to guess what you're going to say. So it runs out this big spiel out here, and it's not even what I wanted to put down. 
And that confuses me, and I got all balled up in it. So let's just leave things like they are. And yeah, no, I don't want to go back to the 1800s. No, not that. Although some things in that was probably crap better than this now. But uh, anyway, that's enough of this. I don't want to, I mean, I don't want to go grass, so just go ahead and say it. Okay, y'all take care, and uh, that was just my little take on this technology stuff.